With Easter just days away, Pope Francis has made a bold statement. In an interview published by an Italian newspaper, the Pope said, quote, there is no hell, there is the disappearance of sinful souls. Valley News Team's Ashley Holcomb spoke with locals about what this statement means to them. Pope Francis says there is no hell. What do you think? To me personally, I don't think it affects me too much. I'm a little more uh, agnostic or atheist. I think it's a bold statement that someone with so much power would say that. It's kind of comforting because I know that all of my family members or people who can't mess up or haven't been taught Jesus' love, they can still be with me. What if he's saying there is no hell as a geographic location? But hell maybe is more an experience. Concordia College's religion department chair, Michelle Lewicka, says she isn't surprised by this statement from the Pope. I think that this Pope, just knowing what I know about him, is always trying to get Catholics in particular, but all people, to think deeper than these traditional religious ideas have sometimes allowed us to think. She says hell happens not only in the afterlife, but in this life as well, and that life experiences can be a type of hell. We think of depression. If you've ever experienced depression, a lot of people will say that's like living in hell. But whether hell is real or not, it doesn't make a difference for some. Even if the Pope didn't say this and the interviewer misquoted him, there's still an opportunity here for us to think about what does hell really mean. I think in the end, as long as I'm a good person, I think that's enough for me. In Fargo, Ashley Holcomb, Valley News Live. So what do you think? We want to hear from you. Join the conversation on our Facebook page. You can search Valley News Live, like our page, and you can follow the latest news, weather, and breaking news updates anytime on your feed. It's a hands-on job interview. Find out how some former Bison fared after working out for NFL scouts later in sports. And Consumer Reports tells how health officials are using food reviews to help crack down on potential food outbreaks.